Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have two furnaces for you with the exact same issue. Um, they're both bad gas valves and they're both caused by the same poor installation practice. So uh, keep an eye later in the video, I'll explain to you what exactly happened. But as you can see on this carrier, uh, we're going for ignition. We have hot surface igniter glowing, Benner motor's running, sends power to the gas valve right here, and we have no ignition. So we have gas to the house, we just don't have gas going to the manifold. So right away it throws a code, um, it throws a 31 and then it throws a 21. So uh, 21 is basically a short circuit in the gas valve. So uh, I'm going to change that out and I will get back with you and show you the other one and the reason for why this happened. Take note of that pipe and just keep that in mind for later. Nobody's made the comment yet, but obviously I'm not taking these furnaces apart by hand. Uh, I'm wrenching everything and doing it the way you'd expect, but some things are just hard to film by yourself, so that's why. I Okay, this is furnace number two. Uh, this one also has a bad gas valve. This is actually a new furnace for me. I've never worked on this furnace before. Notice that pipe right above the gas valve once again. Um, this is a new furnace, like I said. Uh, so I'm kind of gone through this furnace already. It needs a door switch. This has been bypassed, as you can see by that yellow moret. Um, this is a Luxair, and they're very, very known for cracking the collector box, rusting out the whole cabinet, and ruining the door switch. So I have a door switch for it. Uh, I also have a rollout switch for it. You can see right there that rollout switch is pretty rusty up on the burner. Um, so I have a new one. It's got some resistance across it, but we'll get to the meat and potatoes here, change out the gas valve, get this furnace going, and I'll explain um, kind of what's, what's the reason for this. So as you can see, the HSI is glowing once again. Um, manometer is reading no gas pressure as it sends power to the gas valve. So we have a bad gas valve once again. Uh, I actually missed the um, shot of the power going to the valve. So here it is, leads on the gas valve wires and you can see 26.8 volts. So we have another bad gas valve on this furnace. Okay, so this one's all put back together. Uh, now I'm gonna explain why these gas valves are failing. So if you have a furnace like this where the gas valve sits directly under the burners, you never want to have the intake pipe directly uh, in the top of the furnace. Basically this causes a ton of condensation and moisture in the middle of winter when all that cold air is rushing into a hot space um, and it soaks that gas valve. It's just wet all the time. So eventually they fail. The water gets inside and they, um, they basically short out and they're toast. So if you have a furnace like, uh, like a carrier, a Luxair, like I said, you need to actually mount this intake pipe in the side of the cabinet. So if there's a knockout usually in the side of the cabinet. I'm not super familiar with Luxairs. I don't like them as a furnace in general, but with the carriers, if you read the manual, it says right inside, do not, do not put the intake uh, in the top of the cabinet. So I'm fixing up this venting for the customer. They wanted this venting corrected so it wouldn't be an issue again in the future. Uh, the Luxair customer chose not to have it corrected. So it will 100% be a, an issue for them again in the future. And there's just nothing you can do about it other than change the venting. So putting it in the side like this just prevents that from happening again. 
and that furnace uh, should last a lot longer.